This will make for an interesting exercise. It brings trigonometry and algebra together. What is our question? I have to find the possible values or solutions of x such that sine x plus cosine x whole square is equal to 1 or 2. Start by expanding this. You have a plus b whole square. It will be equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. And that's exactly what it is and 1 over 2. There's a trigonometric identity that helps you, you know, get rid of this. Sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. There's another identity for this. If you were to look at this sine x plus x, you compute this. It's no different than sine 2x. You will have this. And meaning you're looking here at sine 2x. That right there is coming from your sine sum formula is equal to 1 over 2. You're solving over here by pushing the 1 on the other side. Sine 2x is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 minus 1 over 2. I'm going to look here at 2x is equal to, I'll push the sine on the other side. I'll have arc sine or inverse sine of minus 1 or 2. What are the possible values of sine in terms of an angle coming through such that it will generate a minus 1 or 2? You know you're looking at your 30 degree angles and these are 30, you have 150, you have a 210 and 330. But you have to look here at the minus sign. Sign is negative in the third and the fourth quadrants. It's positive over here. So these are your items you're bringing through. 210 is a 7 pi over 6. 330 is 11 pi over 6. So now you know 2x is equal to 210 and 330, which you will write as 7 pi over 6 comma 11 pi over 6. Then therefore x is equal to, you divide these by 2. I have a 7 pi over 12, which is 210 divided by 2, and you know this to be 105 degrees. And then I have 11 pi over 6 over 12, because I'm dividing everything by this 2. You know that was originally 330 divided by 2. You have 165 degrees. You have two answers there, 7 pi over 12 and 11 pi over 12, which are representing 105, 165 Represent these on your calculator in the DEG mode if you want and run both of these items, this one right here and this one right here, in this equation and you square your result, it will be equal to 1, one over 2. Both of these answers are good.